Hey guys, it's Melanie and welcome to December Beauty Empties, which I have in my little plastic lined Victoria's Secret bag. So I gave this explanation in yesterday's video, which was my December Home Fragrance Empties. If you haven't seen that, it's of course listed down below. I know that it's not quite the end of December yet, but I looked through my beauty products realize that there's really not a whole lot that I'm probably going to finish before the end of the month. Um, things that I do anticipate finishing, I'm going to go ahead and mention. The reason that this video is going up a little bit earlier is because this is the week of Christmas and um, Tuesday, <laughs> which is when you're watching this, I will already be up on my way to my parents' house. So, um, I won't really have a lot of time in the next few days to record and upload videos because it's family time. So I'm doing this a little bit early and next week is dedicated to all like best of 2014. So I have four different videos in that series. So those are all ready to go and you'll be seeing those next week. So um, that's the reason that the empties are coming at you a little bit early for the month of December. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that I'm going to mention, um, and I will be finished with this by January 1st, if not a day or two before, it's my Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. And you guys know that I love this product. I replace this usually in January and then again in late June early July. So I basically go through two a year. Um, yes, it's an expensive product, but to me it's worth it. This is basically the best BB cream on the face of the planet. I love it. I can't imagine going a day without it. So um, yeah, <laughs> I will be repurchasing this time and time again. Luckily I have two backups, so basically I'm good for the next year. Um, my backups I did purchase at Costco, and I think that Costco might have this in stock again. One of my subscribers, Jennifer, if you're watching, hi Jennifer, told me that um, there's a new set at Costco where there's this and then also um, another new product that I actually haven't heard of yet. And I think it's like 20 bucks. That's a crazy good deal. This is normally $48 if you buy it like at a regular retail store, um, like a uh, skin store. Uh, I think they have it at Durham store. Don't quote me. Anyway, you can just... You can Google this, it's not cheap, <laughs> but it's totally worth it. So yes, I will repurchase it again. Another thing that will definitely be done by the end of next week is my Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow in brulee. So you can see I have this little bit left here. This is going to start crumbling by the end of next week just because I use it every single day. This is like the base shadow that I put down over top of my primer to help the other colors blend. I use it basically every day. Um, this is fantastic. It's my favorite for a base eyeshadow. Um, it just mutes everything out. Everything blends beautifully. It, plus, it's a beautiful brow bone color. Like, there's just nothing bad to say about this, and it's $1.99. It's basically the most amazing thing ever for $1.99. Um, so yes, I will repurchase this. I actually have a couple of backups, and I love it. Once it starts to crumble though, I have to throw it away because I just, I can't deal with like crumbling eyeshadow. That's messy. I don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's jump into my bag. Okay, first thing, Olay Hydrating, uh, Active Hydrating Beauty Fluid. Went through one of these bad boys. I love it. This is my favorite moisturizer for the daytime for years, like years and years I've used this. Um, my Oma used to actually use this and she used it for decades and she always had beautiful skin so I associate this smell with her and I associate beautiful skin <laughs> with this stuff. Um, I just, I love this and I have actually already repurchased it. So yes, it will be a repurchase for years to come. Here's something else that I just finished today. It's the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Polishing Mask. Sorry, I feel like my lip gloss is collecting in the corners. <laughs> um, facial Polishing Mask in Charcoal and Black Sugar. I love this. Um, I will continue to repurchase this for all time. It's basically the best face scrub that I've ever used for 
$2.99. Um, you can get it at Ulta or most drugstores also carry it. Um, great stuff. It's not overly abrasive. It is a sugar scrub. So it actually, like after you work it into your skin for a while, um, the sugar crystals actually start to dissolve. Um, it's really good stuff. I don't use it as a mask. I just use it as a scrub in the shower. It is black, so it's a little bit messy. That's why I don't use it at the bathroom sink. Um, I'm sloppy enough as it is, like getting water everywhere, so I don't need black stuff all over my sink. So yes, I will repurchase this. This is the Giovanni Perfectly Platinum Color Flage Daily Color Defense, Defense Shampoo. Jeez, could that have a longer name? Okay, I never actually hauled this. Um, this is basically a purple, um, is this the sh shampoo? Yeah, this is the shampoo. Um, I think I have the conditioner in here as well. At least I should. No, the conditioner is at my mom's house. Mm. Forgot that up there. Um, I do have the conditioner of this as well. But anyway, uh, let me just say, not worth it. I won't repurchase this. One, it did nothing to actually tone my hair. Um, I mean, it was fine for like a regular shampoo, I guess. I don't know. I just, I really like toning shampoos because my hair really wants to be ashy. I, I can say that it smelled really good. I love the way that it smelled, but as far as like actually toning hair, no. Um, it's this really light lavender color. It just didn't do what I expected it to. So no, I will not purchase the Giovanni Color Flage Daily Defense Shampoo again. No. Finished up a Dove Advanced Care uh, deodorant, antiperspirant deodorant. <laughs> Um, I will repurchase this again in the summer. This is one of the few antiperspirants that doesn't irritate my underarms. Um, this was the Karen Coconut. This smelled really good. Let's see, I hate it when they start to like fall out. Uh, it smells good. Um, I do need to use an antiperspirant in the summer because I do tend to sweat a little bit more then and I just can't smell and be all sweaty. Um, I just don't, wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> For right now, I purchased a just plain old deodorant from Trader Joe's that has actually been working great. If you're curious about it, watch my uh, Friday favorites from this last Friday. It's probably listed down below somewhere. Finished off this body scrub, the Body Scrub Wash 2-in-1 Almond and Apricot Stone by Tasa Wong. This was one of my Mimi Box um, goodies. I really like this a lot. Um, I love the smell of it. It's really like a soft, like almond smell. Yum. It smelled really good. Um, if I could access this, like in a store, I would totally repurchase it. But I mean, I wouldn't like pay like shipping and all of that stuff for it. No. I can find other body scrubs that I love, like the tree hut scrubs. <laughs> Um, but it was nice to get it in my Mimi box, and I really enjoyed using it. And I'm, I am sad that it's gone, but I would never, like, go through the hassle of, like, ordering it online and paying for shipping and handling and all of that stuff. But good stuff. If you ever get it in a Mimi box, you will enjoy it. It's nice stuff. It's not overly harsh either. Finished up a Caviar CC Cream Leave-In Hair Perfector from Alterna. You guys know that I love this. I got a ton of samples of these this year, and so I typically go through about one a month. So this was uh, for the month of December <laughs> and also probably end of um, November. I really love this stuff. It's fantastic. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It makes it soft. It makes it silky. Um, I realized that my dew is not much to look at. I really need to go get a haircut, and that's goal number one in January. Um, but I got to say, I think my hair looks okay for never doing with it, anything with it ever. <laughs> I'm sure most people are like, um, you're delusional, <laughs> but it looks fine to me. I don't know. I just, I, I used to do my hair all the time. And now that I stay home with Stella, I guess I just don't see like a super need to like get all elaborate with it. Plus I haven't used a hair dryer basically at all this entire year. And my hair has never felt healthier. Like my hair just feels crazy soft. I don't deal with split ends nearly as much as I used to when I would blow dry every single day. Um, so, I don't know. I shouldn't make excuses for my hair. Okay, 
I, okay, this I just had to get rid of because it turned, like, awful. Like, I had this, how long have I had this? I've had this for probably about five years, I think. Um, it's a fragrance that Victoria's Secret no longer makes. It's the Sexy Little Things Ooh La La. This used to smell really, really good. Like, it smelled phenomenal. Like a really soft, powdery floral scent, but now it just smelled, it smelled like straight up alcohol. So I got rid of it. Um, I think I'm going to clean this out and give the container to Stella because it's cute, right? It's a little like perfume bottle. Um, so I'm sad they don't make this fragrance anymore because I really actually did like it, but so if they still made it, I would probably repurchase it. It did smell good at one time. It just turned. So and honestly, I had used like not even half of it. So that sucks. <laughs> that I basically had to pour out like half a bottle of perfume. Now I will say that I probably got this during like a semi-annual sale, so I never paid full price for it, but still. Use your products. Because <laughs> if you don't, you're going to end up throwing them away like I did with that. Replaced my Clarisonic brush head. Um, so yeah, I keep repurchasing these because I, I love my Clarisonic. So yes. That's a must. Getting rid of this mascara. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I hated this. I only used it a handful of times, and now it's just really thick and gunky. The brush was just, I didn't care for it. Um, I didn't like the formula. It flaked. It was kind of smudgy. The brush wasn't very easy to use. It actually came with a kit that I got in January at Sephora after they were doing like the after Christmas clearance stuff. So I didn't technically pay for it, nor would I ever pay for this. I just don't think it's a very good mascara. Another mascara, sorry this is not a mascara, it looks like one. Is that it for mascaras? Yep. I did finish off two primers. This is a mini of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, just the original. This is just is done. <laughs> I used what little was left in there and finished it off. I also finished off my NYX HD High Definition Eyeshadow Base. Um, this is one of my top picks from NYX because it's a great eyeshadow primer. You only need a little bit. It does have a doe foot applicator. Um, it acts as a little bit of a concealer, um, helps prevent creasing, extends the wear of your eyeshadow, makes it more vibrant. Just good stuff. If you're not using an eyeshadow primer, why not? <laughs> this one's really inexpensive, and it really does make a difference. I already went through one of these. <laughs> uh, I bought this at the Sephora VIB sale, so this lasted me not even a month, but I used it almost every single day. It's the Retractable Brow Pencil, and um, all gone. <laughs> You really don't get a lot, um, but you don't get a lot with the Anastasia either. I believe both provide you the same amount of product, except this is $13, so, and it works great. I have the color Natural Gray Brown, and it's actually what I'm wearing today because I bought a backup <laughs> during the VIB sale. So, yes, I will continue to repurchase this as my pencil eyeliner, pencil eyebrow liner what, what would you you guys know what I'm talking about why are my words not coming out <laughs> I'm not starting over <laughs> my brain cells went to my daughter like let's I don't feel bad about it she is very smart very bright but Apparently having a kid turned me into an idiot. Okay, so yes, I will repurchase this. I think it's a great product. I love the color. Wearing it today works great. Plus it's cheaper than the Anastasia. Okay, I did replace my brush head. <laughs> I wanted to toss this in here because I feel like teeth are important and they are the first thing that people see when they meet you. Um, most people notice your smile, and I have been using the Sonicare toothbrush for well over a year now, and I feel like it's made a huge difference in my dental care.
skincare um, routine, I really feel like my teeth are cleaner. I don't have nearly as much plaque buildup when I go to the dentist. And um, this is just the E series. I I don't have like the fancier, like newer one, but I like this. Um, I don't think I would go back to using a manual toothbrush ever. If when ours like futs out eventually, we'll go get another Sonicare toothbrush. They really are great. Highly, highly recommend it. If you can invest in one, it makes a huge difference, I swear. Okay, finished off a perfume sample, Heavenly from Victoria's Secret. I like this. I used to wear this back in the day. By back in the day, I mean like college, many moons ago. Um, and I really enjoyed it back then. And I still like it now. So if I can finish a couple of bottles of perfume over the course of this year, next holiday season, I will buy the Heavenly in the full size again. I do really like it. Okay, finished up some samples. Let's talk samples. Uh, Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. Good stuff. Mixed it with my Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. Love the way that it looked. Would I actually buy it? No. I mean, I love the Miracle Skin Transformer. I don't need to mix anything with it, but to use up samples, I will mix up samples with that to get some unique concoction. <laughs> okay, uh, Texas Tea Volumizing Conditioner. I also used up the shampoo to this. Terrible! This is the worst shampoo and conditioner that I've ever used in my life. Ever. Like, I mean, this wasn't like terrible to start with, but this was awful. Like, it made my hair dry, straw-like, stringy, gross. Never. Never would I ever purchase that. I think there's a couple of these in here. No? Okay. Um, Paula's Choice Earth Sourced Purely Natural Refreshing Toner. No, I would not buy this. In fact, I used it just to like use it up. I just didn't care for that. Um, I did really actually like this, the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. Again, <laughs> mixed it with my Sarah McNamara, and it made a great combination. Skin looked beautiful. In fact, I believe that I mentioned this in a Friday Favorites a couple weeks ago. Good stuff. But I don't think I would buy it. <laughs> I think if someone gave it to me as a gift, I would be like, fabulous! But I just, I wouldn't spend the money on it. I'll spend the money on my Sarah McNamara. Jerlique Purely Bright Radiance Serum. I love the way that this smelled, but I don't think I had enough to really, like, see any results. So, it smelled good. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, Clinical Ultra Rich Smoothing Body Butter from Paula's Choice. Every time I place an order, I get, like, either three or five samples, depending on what they're feeling generous with. Um, this one was really great. I used this on my hands. It absorbed really quickly. I am actually going to be purchasing the full size of this to use as a hand cream. Um, I don't know that I would use it necessarily on the rest of my body, but I do really like it as a hand cream because it's not greasy. It just made my hands feel amazing, and they've been really painfully dry. In fact, they're super dry again today. Um, I feel like the amount of hand washing that I do because of Stella and just it being cold and flu season and a cold sore that I was dealing with, like I've been washing my hands like overkill, and um, it is rough on the skin on my hands. So, but this did a great job of healing that up. So I need to actually I need to just place an order for this because I love it. I did really enjoy that a lot, and I think. Yep, I used two of those. Um, finished up a skin balancing oil absorbing mask from Paula's Choice. Um, this was a clay mask. You can kind of tell. <laughs> um, I like this. Um, I don't know that I would actually buy it. Um, whenever I place orders with Paula's Choice, I will probably just toss this in there to be able to use every once in a while. I don't know. I'm... Especially during the winter months, I'm not really into masking because I don't want to like suck all of the oil out of my skin, even though I have very oily skin. That just makes my skin feel dry and then it overproduces even more oil. It's much better for me to use this stuff in the summer months. Um, it's perfect then. Um, but as of right now, I don't think I need to invest in it. But it is a good product if you're looking for a clay mask. Okay, and one more. Geez, I went through a lot of primer. <laughs> 
Here is the Urban Decay in Eden. So this was one of the samples that came with my Naked 3 palette. You'll recognize this if you got one of those palettes. I don't like Eden. Funny story, I used to actually force it onto my clients because <laughs> it was great at concealing redness and it definitely held the eyeshadow in place. I just feel like the coverage for my eyelids just felt a little bit too heavy for everyday wear. So I'm glad I used it up. I just won't purchase Eden. I prefer the original formula from Urban Decay um, or their newer anti-aging formula. So I'm just using a sample of that right now. So that's it, folks. Those are my beauty empties for the month of December. Let me know down below what you finished up this month. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is my last video before Christmas. So I want to wish everybody out there, if you celebrate, a Merry Christmas. If not, Happy Holidays, Happy whatever you choose to celebrate this time of year. Um, yeah, I'm just, I just want to let you guys know how thankful I am for you and how fantastic and amazing and supportive you've been this year. I just really feel like I have some of the best subscribers. Your comments and your, like, messages just really, you brighten my day. <laughs> you really seriously do. And I love the distraction of, like, reading through my comments and being able to answer back, you know, at night when I'm just right after I put Stella to bed. I love to do that at that time and it just sort of helps me like settle down and it puts me in a good mood before I go to sleep. So thank you guys so much. I hope that you have a beautiful holiday and I will see you next week with, well you may see a vlog for me this weekend. Sorry, I've been sucking with Vlogmas. I This is why I don't vlog very much. <laughs> it's just, it's totally not my thing. I will be vlogging over Christmas, so hopefully you'll see that video either Friday or Saturday. Um, but if not, I do have a bunch of videos lined up for next week already. All of my best of 2014, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that series. And yeah, again, happy holidays, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.